I know you've been carrying the backpack with you throughout the day. Maybe you can tell us what these are. Uh, well, the first one here is a vaccine. Uh, this is called HPV vaccine. Uh, uh, these are made uh, in China, India, and the U.S. Uh, with partners. You know, China is a great e example of a country that uh, is now very self-sufficient and helping other countries. And the R&D budgets in China that uh, can uh, develop new vaccines, develop better seeds, better livestock genetics, uh, those things can help China and uh, help uh, the countries that aren't as far along as China is, including those in Africa. And that's why the Gates Foundation has a uh, very strong office uh, in China and, and builds partnerships with the governments and all the companies there. How do you see a China, as some say, in transition? China in 1980 uh, was uh, poorer actually than India. And so both in China itself and the, and the world benefiting from China, you know, we were at a low point. Today, China's making, you know, inexpensive products that benefit the world. Uh, the health uh, statistics in China have improved very uh, dramatically. Uh, I never did meet Deng Xiaoping, but every leader since then, I've had an opportunity to sit and talk to and, uh, you know, talk about common goals like uh, reducing TB. Uh, China's making the most progress. Uh, we're a partner in helping with this reducing TB in China, and then making uh, the tools uh, that can go help other countries as well. So, you know, there's a lot of win-win things, uh, whether it's between Gates Foundation and China, or even uh, China and other countries. Uh, you know, the U.S.? Oh yeah, including the U.S., you know, working together on climate innovation, uh, uh, all of these different health challenges, uh, and so, you know, the more the relationship can be about the win-win, you know, I think the better off we all are.